Well, guys, we have some very unfortunate news here. The founder of Bandai Namco, his name is Masa Nakamura. He is now dead. He passed away last week. I don't know why it took so long for this news to get to us, but it seems like the Bandai Namco president is indeed... Actually, I can't confirm if he's a president or not. But what I do know is he did find the company, he did found it, 90, I'm not sure how long ago it was, but you know, it's probably a really, really long time ago, probably about 40 or 50 years ago at this point. So he was the founder and he unfortunately has died. The cool thing is Nintendo of America did respect him by actually, they actually did release this, an official, you know, an official statement on the event. They had to say, as a 3P partner, Namco has been a big part of Nintendo's history. Thanks in large part to Masa Nakamura. He changed gaming for the better, guys. This is very, very sad news. I'm not, I'm not happy about hearing information like this. You know, he was a, he was a very, very important figure in the gaming industry. You know, back in the day when the gaming crisis happened, Nintendo came in and like, yo, we're gonna change shit forever with the NES. And during that time, Namco produced games on the NES and SNES. If I remember correctly, I don't remember exactly which games they were producing, but they've been a long time partner with Nintendo. You know. In more recent news, they've helped them on uh, Super Smash Bros. Wii U, yep. They actually did help them with that game, you know, which it ended up probably being the worst Smash game in the series, but still, it was still a pretty good game, though. But to be honest with you, I didn't like Smash Wii U. It was missing a lot of things that made the past two games great. But whatever, that's another story for another day. Anyway, Bandai Namco has had a huge significance on the gaming community. You know, Pac-Man, he's known for Pac-Man, he helped create Pac-Man. But he's also known for other things too, it's not just Pac-Man. Bandai Namco has created a variety of other games. I believe they were the, aren't they the creators of the Street Fighter series too? I believe Namco Bandai created you know, the Super Street Fighter series as well. So there's other, there's other franchises they have a lot of power over than just, you know, Pac-Man. And, and to be honest with you, Pac-Man has really faded into obsolete in recent memory. And Super Street Fighter is still growing well. And obviously they've, they've helped in Super Smash Bros. So you you definitely see them around, which is great news. I mean, the man lived, you know, long and long and happy life. And 91 years old, it's very hard to be upset with how long and how you live your life. You know, 91 years is a very long time. I believe that's, even for Japan, that's a long time. Especially in this country. I believe an average male in the United States is about 78 years of life expectancy. I believe a woman's about 81. So the fact he made it to 91 is simply fantastic news. Nintendo of America, thank you so much for releasing a statement. You know, you guys are stupid at times and your fundamentalist ideas at times do piss me off. But at least you were nice enough to release this information. You know, Masa Nakamura is a very important man in the gaming community. You know, he was right there with Nintendo, saving the industry from destruction. After Atari really, really fucked up and released a billion different consoles and a billion different shitty games like E.T. and such. I'm really happy this guy was there. Because without, without this guy, you know, I mean, I'm not saying he was the number one guy. I'm, I'm sure Giro Miyamoto is really the man I think of who saved the industry. But, you know, Masahiro Nakamura was also there. Pac-Man was on the arcade even before Nintendo. So, you know. It's hard to, it's really hard to, like, to miss to, to see a guy like this go. But overall, that's all the information I have for you guys today. If you want to support the channel, please consider using the Peebo support and Amazon link. It's in the description. If you guys have any big purchases coming up, just use my link. Go to the Amazon homepage and buy the thing you, you want. You know, it helps me out significantly. And if you're going to buy itself on Amazon anyway, why not just use the link? It really supports me. Also, if you want to support me directly, just use the fan funding option on the top right of the screen. So overall, I really hope you enjoyed that video. Sad, sad news for today. Hopefully tomorrow looks better than today. Thank you and bye.